What's up? What's up? Hey, welcome everyone. Hope everyone is uh, excited for a great FCA night. Uh, no, Coleman's gonna bring a great- For me, being around the students, I'm encouraged by watching them live out their faith. To see them grow, wrestle through hard questions, hard seasons in their life. And so the biggest testimony that I have seen is that God is alive and well, that he is working in the hearts of young adults, that he's moving, that he's taking them from darkness to light. And so just getting the opportunity to have a front row seat of that encourages my faith. My father was a pastor of a church. Both of my grandfathers were pastors. So I grew up in church. But when I got to college at Midwestern State University, put my faith uh, on the back burner got to graduate school and knew that my life was, was missing something. I wasn't really embracing the faith aspect of it. And I think for me at that time, I didn't really see a lot of young adults who were, who were walking their, their relationship with Christ. And so my wife uh, ran into her, uh, she invited me to church. And I said, hey, I'll go to church. And so started going to church and started hanging out with a group of young adults who were serious about their faith, who were serious in growing their relationship with Christ. And it was that group that God really touched my heart to open up my eyes to his love and his grace. That's where my walk with Christ started. After that, I coached college football. But in the process of coaching, uh, God showed me that it was, it was not about the X's and O's, but it was about the, the heart and souls of young men and women that he really began to press upon in my life. Uh, my pastor at that time was telling me about a ministry called Fellowship Christian Athletes. Met some guys who work with FCA and began to hear their hearts and what they're doing. And I was like, man, this is what I want to do. I want to impact the lives of coaches and athletes. We have this open door approach, like come in, we're gonna meet you right where you're at, and come in and be a part of our community as we share the love of who Christ is. FCA for me, it's just a time where all these student athletes come together, and even like non-student athletes now, and our saying is no perfect people allowed. You know, I'm not perfect by any stretch. You know, nobody is, and that's our point. You just need to be you, you know, because no, one, no one's perfect. The only person that's perfect is Jesus. And like that's fully resembled wherever we're meeting. It's like everybody's just coming and saying, this is where I am, this is me right now, this is where I'm at with God or like even without God. And you just get to connect. We thank you for these close relationships and friendships that we have with each other. And thank you for blessing us all at this amazing school. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. The ultimate goal and transforming effect of FCA is is to produce life change. That we want to help students see their lives change through the love of Jesus Christ. We want to pour into them, to disciple them, that they too may go and disciple others. Going to church and going to FCA has allowed me to really grow my relationship with, with Jesus. And it's really just amazing to see how far I've come and how much I now realize that God just loves me and everyone else. It's just, oh, sorry. I'm like choking up a little bit. For these FCA coaches, like their job is to grow you in your relationship with God and to have somebody who you know is consistently there for you and like wants to be with you on your walk with God. It's just so inspiring and it makes you wanna do that for other people as well. When they get a chance to see you and you get a chance to see them, the good and the bad, you know, you're there for victories and you're also there for defeats. But you on a journey doing life with a young adult or with a coach. And the thing that I love about the Ministry of Presence is that I've seen God ordain conversations that I didn't have a meeting set up, you know, I didn't have a lunch set up. I'm just standing there right there on the sideline on the practice field and a young man comes up, hey coach, can we talk after practice today? Or it can be just right there in that moment where a young man begins to share what's on their heart. And this also helps too that when they know that, hey, we're there to coach their life, you know, that we're there to help them to be successful, not only on the field, but we want to help them to be successful in life. And so when they see us, they begin to recognize that we're there for them. We're there to serve them. We're there to love them. We're there to encourage them. We're there to uplift them. And then we're there to remind them that there is something greater than this game itself. The game is important. The coaches and, and players spend hours on top of hours on top of hours preparing for a game. But more importantly, recognizing that using your sport, your coaching ability to glorify God and the platform that God has given you to give Him glory.